Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a hell of a long time since we last spoke Rugby League on this channel and I did promise that I was going to cover all of the big off-season news in the one video, but there's just too much. So I'm going to be covering all the signings, all the re-signings in multiple videos over the next coming weeks because, let's face it, there's still a month to go before we can cash in on some new NRL season stuff. So. With the preseason still a month away, I'm going to be banging out the videos on here and on TikTok. The link will be in the description below. And Rabbitohs fans, I know you've read the title. I know you're going to love this one because I believe, and this is a spoiler for the video, that the Rabbitohs may have just pulled off the greatest re-signing, the heist of the century that we have seen in the NRL era so far and one. That will be hard to top, so if you're a Roosters fan, look away because, well, I do believe the South Sydney Rabbitohs just put themselves in one of the best positions their club has ever been in to win a premiership. But guys and gals, before we get any more into the video, I need you to smash that like button like George Tafua did to Cameron Munster. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already and leave a comment down below. Do you agree with me that the Rabbitohs are in prime position to win another premiership or am I just hating on the Roosters? Because let's face it, who doesn't? But let's get straight into the video. So the news that we were all waiting for dropped over around a month from when I'm releasing this video. I haven't had my chance to talk about it, but let's talk about it. The South City Rabbitohs were able to re-sign Latrell Mitchell till 2027, Cody Walker till 2025, and the same with Damian Cook re-signing three members of one of the best spines in the current competition. And as well, they have their halfback, Lockie Ilias the Young Gun, locked up till 2025 as well. And a huge coup for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. So let's talk about Cody Walker and Damian Cook. Now, it's not being reported and I can't find anywhere what they are on. I'm going to guess though that they both took some under to stay at the club. Cody Walker, an incredible amount of loyalty shown by him. He signed the one-year deal on about 700k coming off that incredible 2021 season where he could, in theory, have gone to the Dolphins on a million plus. And honestly, that's what I thought was going to happen. I was shocked to see him re-sign with the Rabbitohs for such a cheap deal, considering his value over a year ago it would have been now. So for him to basically put so much faith into the Rabbitohs board, re-signing for one year just so he could get his combined deal with Latrell Mitchell shows a huge amount of loyalty. And the same with Damian Cook. Unfortunately, Cook he hasn't been at his best really since Anthony Seabold left the club and left the club. And let's face it, that was a while ago now. So it's great to see the Rabbitohs take a chance on Cookie because we all know that at his best, Damien Cook is still one of the best dummy halves in the competition. He got pipped for the Blues number nine and the Australian number nine jersey last year, but I've still got faith, and I can tell the Rabbitohs have faith that he can get back to that starting number nine role for the two representative sides. I guess the only real worry with these two is that they are getting older. Cody Walker already 32, same with Damian Cook. The good thing is that they both debuted so late, so I guess in their careers they're not too old, but that age. They've both managed to stay relatively healthy the past few years, so it's not too much of a concern. However... Hopefully they both don't start or at least one of them doesn't start to slide off in terms of their performance. Because if they don't, then the Rabbitohs may have just secured one of the best spines in the competition until at least 2025, especially considering that they were able to snag young gun Lockie Ilias up. He proved us all wrong after the entire Adam Reynolds saga, the start of 2022, it looked like the Rabbitohs didn't make the right decision and it was a steal for the Broncos. Ended up, the Rabbitohs may just be in a better position as a club than when they let Adam Reynolds go. An incredible, an incredible season from young Lockie Ilias. 
Did he have a Sam Walker type of season? No, but he didn't have to. He played the perfect role considering the players outside of him. Yes, he got benched against the Dragons in that one game, but outside of that, it was a pretty solid season from the young halfback, and he's only going to improve. So not only do they have their entire spine locked up until at least 2025, but the Rabbitohs also have Cameron Murray, Alex Johnson locked up till 2025 and until 2024. So off contract November 1 this year, they have Jai Arrow, Campbell Grain, Colin Matungi, and Tatola locked up. So if that means for at least the next two years, the Rabbitohs are still going to have this core, this core side that managed when Latrell Mitchell came back to scrape into the preliminary finals. And if it wasn't from two moments of individual brilliance from both Abby Coruscant and Brian To'o, maybe the Rabbitohs would be sitting here as NRL premiers. They probably should have in 2021. And speaking of the big fella, the main reason I decided to make this video, Latrell Mitchell will be a Rabbitoh until at least 2027 on a deal that wasn't even worth a million dollars. When we talk about loyalty, when we talk about getting value for players, the Rabbitohs have broken the logic. This is the heist of the century. Move over, Seth Rollins, because I said... In my predictions for the off-contract players at Latrell Mitchell's minimum, a bargain price would be $1 million, And somehow the Rabbitohs have gotten in on less until 2027. It shows how good the club culture is. Because while Latrell has still had his fair share of dramas on the field with both injuries and the suspensions... He proved, in 2022 especially, he is arguably a top three player in the world. Outside of Tommy Turbo, at their best, there is no one that can come close to what these two can do on the field. Latrell Mitchell proved that. If he plays in that 2021 Grand Final, I believe that the Rabbitohs are sitting here with a premiership in the past few years. And you know what? If he was fit all year in 2022, maybe the Rabbitohs could have gone higher up the ladder and had a deeper run. So if Latrell Mitchell can stay healthy and can stay not suspended, then the Rabbitohs have proven over the past few years that they can win a premiership. Now I know the preliminary final stuff, it's not pretty to look at. Losing that many in a row is not great. However, you got to remember that in every single preliminary final that they lost, they were the outsiders. And in the one where they were the favorites going up against Manly in 2021, they were able to win that one. And in all those preliminary finals outside of maybe 2018, you could argue that the Rabbitohs haven't had their starting 17 once. So if they can just keep a fit squad, try and get the most out of their 20 players fit or not suspended at the same time, then the Rabbitohs have proven how they can hang with the Penrith Panthers. Hell, they can beat the Sydney Roosters for fun at this point, it seems. But the fact that they have one of the best spines with a young halfback with a fullback who is still yet to reach his potential in that position, locked up until 2025, surround that with arguably the bad game's best lock in Cameron Murray, the be maybe the best try scorer we've ever seen in Alex Johnston. Then you got the likes of Campbell, Graham, Cullum, Matagi, Jai, Arrow, and Tatola. Then the Rabbitohs are a scary proposition, and I don't think it's going to shock anyone if they have a premiership within the next two years. But re-signing Latrell Mitchell may just be the greatest move we have seen from an NRL club in recent years. Incredible. I don't know how they've done it. Russell Crowe, mate. You have done the unthinkable to think that we were all questioning them after let Adam Reynolds go. I reckon they're probably in a stronger position now than they were prior to that 2021 season. But guys, let me know what are your thoughts on the re-signings of Latrell Mitchell, Damien Cook, and Cody Walker in that comment section below. Do you think the Rabbitohs are guaranteed a premiership in the next two years? Let me know. Smash that like button, guys, if you did enjoy the video. Make sure you do follow me on TikTok and say subscribe to the YouTube so you don't miss any of the videos I'm going to make because we're cranking them out. We've got a month till preseason starts, so we've got to stretch out some off-season content because I owe it to you guys. You've been very patient, and I've done nothing since the World Cup. But thank you guys so much for watching. Do the big three like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next one.